Hey friends, good morning and happy Vlogmas. So today for Vlogmas, we are actually going to be just spending some time together doing some laundry and building a compost bin out of welded wire. Now I have never built a compost bin before, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. I have been doing a type of composting called vermicomposting and it's not actually composting to be honest, but it's basically where you feed food scraps to worms and let them turn it into gold for your garden. The problem with that is you only are supposed to feed certain things and you can only feed so much and basically we have too much food scraps for the worms that we have. The amount of food scraps we would have would need a worm colony that is way too big, like not even get into that. We don't have pigs yet, we don't have chickens yet and i can't feed all of my food scraps to the rabbits i need a compost i will need all of this gold from the compost for my upcoming gardening season anyways so might as well build my own composting bin and put all of that food scraps to good use but there's something i'm gonna do that many people do not recommend you do and that is compost everything and i mean everything meat scraps bread scraps cheese scraps you name it it'll go in the compost if we have leftovers it's going to go in the compost. I'm just putting that out there now. And on bunny butcher days, that's going in the compost too. Before you jump all over me, have you seen the homesteading family video where he shows you how he built a ginormous composting pile to hide their butchered animal scraps in the inside to keep animals away? Kind of on the same theory, but on a smaller scale. Basically, you build your compost up, you put all of the blood and guts and everything in the center, and you build carbon around it. That way, it keeps the animals from being able to smell it and get to it. I'm actually putting mine in a welded wire cage. That's what we're gonna build today. And that's just to kind of help contain it some, but it will also help to keep some of the animals out, hopefully. I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes and I'll keep y'all updated if it comes out to be a horrible mess because we do have coyotes in the area. I'll let y'all know. I mean, I'm not above letting y'all know where we mess up because you don't learn if you don't try. And if you don't test the boundaries of what people tell you is possible, you'll never grow. Sometimes I don't follow the rules and that's okay. I learn as I go and I adapt when I make mistakes. That's what we're doing here. If it works, we get lots of compost for the garden. If it don't work and animals get into it, then I have to start over. That's all there is to it. I mean, it's only gonna go one of two ways. Let's get laundry done first so it can get hanging on the line. I think it's supposed to be, yes, it is December and I'm in short sleeves. I think it's supposed to be in like mid 70s out here today. So I need to get laundry hanging so it can dry with the sun coming out. And then we'll work on the compost bin. If you need a full video tutorial on my off-grid laundry setup and how I do that, I will link it down below and up here. But today it's just gonna be like a general, hey, this is what I'm doing type deal. It's just a spend the day with me type of day. sticker from Barb's Country Home here oh, on my, YouTube. My, my. No, we gotta put it on the bucket. Be the bucket. This was sent to us to help decorate our laundry bucket. Be in the bucket. We got one from Blue Color Homestead already on here. If you have a sticker that you think needs to go in our laundry bucket, look in the description box at the bottom. You'll see our P.O. box. Mail us a sticker. We'll decorate our bucket with it. Alright. Oh, Alright, Barb's Country Home. Your sticker is going on the laundry bucket. Sticker me. Sticker boo. Yeah, you like our stickers? It's boo. It's we need to get some more stickers for our buckets, huh?
wondered if your clothes actually get clean while you're doing them by hand. This is why I like to hand wash clothes because I'm fascinated by this. Look how dirty those clothes were. That's just craziness. Whoops. And the rinse water will be pretty much just as dirty. Time to hang on to dry. You look so menacing standing back there with like your long wooden stick watching me. <laughs> I'll keep y'all all in line. <laughs> So laundry is done. Time to build our compost bin. Let's see how this goes. I made it with my knee. What, buddy? Rabbit. Oh, this one ain't for rabbits. This is for compost. 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 That's right. There's a duck one in my compost. So this is just simple, what, two by three welded wire? There you go, you're not stuck no more. Yeah, I keep moving. Easy, simple compost bin. <laughs> You're gonna fall over. What you doing in the hole for? No boy. What are you in the hole for? No boy. Are you in trouble? In trouble. Oh no. Now this wire is just leftover wire. It'll come off the wire. Oh, it come off this wire. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's the wire that was holding this wire together. Cheap plastic pitchers make excellent countertop compost bins. It seals off, keeps the smell in, no issues, pours right out, rinse it out, you're good to go. Okay, so my compost bin is set up. I have my welded wire cage. I did a layer of dirt from my container garden in. And then I did layers of wood chips. And then we threw in our blood and guts and stuff from our rabbit butchering day. If you wanna see that video, I will leave a link up here and down in the description box below. Then I added in a large layer of wood chips on top of that. Did some leaves. 
because the leaves are already composting on the ground so that's already got some bacteria going in it did more wood chips more leaves and then i topped it off with these sticks just to kind of discourage any digging to see if they i mean they're kind of stuck in here if an animal is bound and determined to get into my compost they're gonna get into it but i have done my best to block the scent with all the carbon i've added in i have added this welded wire cage so they can't just come through and pick at it and then i added the sticks on top i mean it's a good couple feet of carbon to bury the smell of the animal guts and stuff that are in there i will keep y'all updated on how my compost bin works out it was super easy to make i know we'll be making several of these this area you see behind me is going to be where my raised bed garden is going past that is our home site so that's why this is set all the way back here at the edge of our property is because i want it to have easy access to my garden for when i need it in the spring Your son says you're slacking on cutting down trees. He's having to do it for you. How about it? How about it? Okay, so that is another homestead project knocked off the list. We'll need a couple more of those built over time. So, I mean, that's still coming. But we got one going. That makes me happy. I hope you've had another great day of Vlogmas. We're moving right along. I'm sticking with it so far, so I'm super proud of myself. It's been crazy how many videos I've had to make, but I'm getting there, guys. We're getting there. Taking Vlogmas one day at a time. So today, your Vlogmas question of the day is, are you more of a giver or a receiver of presents this time of year? Personally, for me, I love to give presents. I I mean, I like getting gifts, some, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is finding the perfect present for somebody else and then watching their face light up when I give it to them. So I'm a total giver. I can tell you right now, Declan's all about receiving gifts, not giving. That'll come later, hopefully. I will pin the question down in the first comment below, answer it and let us know. Do you like to give gifts or do you like to receive gifts? Y'all have a good day now. Bye. Bye.